next topic is linear transformation let v and capital v and capital w be two vector spaces and t is a function from v to w t a function then t is called a linear transformation shortly denoted by l dot t dot linear transformation if these two conditions are satisfied that is t v1 bar plus v2 bar is equal to t v1 bar plus t v2 bar or t v1 plus v2 is equal to t v1 plus t v2 for all v1 and v2 belongs to capital v that is domain of this function and t of kv is equal to k t v if this is equal to if t of kv is equal to k t v for all u belongs to for all v belongs to v for all v bar belongs to capital v and for any scalar t if these two properties are satisfied by uh, this function t from vector space v to w then we say a t is a linear transformation okay so show that the function t from r3 to r square define as the so the notation for the linear transformation is generally capital t capital y of capital l m these are the notation uh, small y of small g these are the notation for the linear transformation so show that this uh, function t from r3 to r2 this r3 is we know that r3 and r2 are two vector spaces defined as t x y z is equal to x plus y comma x minus z so this is the uh, this uh, x y z is the element of r cube obviously this is three tuple and the x plus y comma x minus z is the element of r square if this is order pair so this is the function from r3 to r2 and we have to show this function is a linear transformation similarly the uh, another two examples so i answer a first example now we have to show this first property t of v1 plus v2 is equal to t v1 plus t v2 so we will find we will take first v1 and v2 as the element of this domain domain that is r cube we take the two element of r cube so v1 is equal to uh, v1 is equal to this is the answer of third so this is uh, t is from r square to r cube r square to r cube define as t x y is equal to x plus y comma x minus y comma 2x obviously this x order pair x y is the element of r square and this x plus y comma x minus y comma 2x is the element of r cube so we have to show the two properties for this example number three also for example one and two so we have to take the first two element of r2 so r2 is r square is the domain so we will take two element suppose v1 bar so this r square the element of r square are order pairs so we will take two order pairs so x1 y1 and x2 y2 suppose v1 bar and v2 bar these are the element of r square so in the place of v and w there are any two spaces suppose v is the space of m2 by 2 r that is the vector space of all 2 by 2 matrices with real entries then we take v1 bar and v2 bar as two element of m2 by 2 r that is we will take v1 and v2 as the 2 by 2 or 2 uh, 2 by 2 matrices okay so like that this is r, v is r cube then we take three tuple to three tuple if uh, this v is a uh, uh, suppose v is a uh, uh, p2 capital p2 that is the or p2x that is the a vector space of all polynomial of degree less than or equal to 2 then we had to take v1 and v2 as two polynomials of degree 2 so we will take the two elements from this r square that is v1 as x1 y1 and v2 as x2 y2 belongs to r square b any element then what is v1 plus v2 what is the addition in r square that is the usual addition x1 is again order pair x1 or in round bracket x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 then t of v1 plus v2 is equal to t of x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 don't write this bracket write this bracket uh, x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 and what is the t of xy is x plus y comma x minus y comma 2x so what is t of x plus x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 is the uh, three tuple x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2 the addition of these two x plus y comma x minus y that is x1 plus x2 minus right in bracket y1 plus y2 or minus y1 minus y2 this minus this x minus y comma 2x that is 2 into 
in bracket x1 plus x2 that is 2x1 2x2 and then complete round bracket here complete round bracket so this is c tuple and now we have to show it is t of v1 plus v2 so in order to show t1 it is equal to t1 t of v1 plus v2 is equal to t1 plus uh, t2 this is the adjustment or we can uh, denote this equation up to this equation number one and then separately find uh, t of u1 t of v1 plus t of v2 separately t of v1 plus t of v2 and show the rhs of the equation number one and equation number two are same okay or adjust here so what is that just mean now the, we write this x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2 as x1 plus x2 plus x2 x2 plus y2 then we write here x1 minus y1 plus x2 minus y2 and there write 2x 2x1 2x2 as it is okay and then we uh, reuse the definition of addition of two vertex uh, vectors in r3 that is we write this is this is the this is the addition of x1 plus x2 comma x1 minus y1 comma 2x1 plus uh, x2 plus y2 comma x2 minus y2 comma 2x2 that is the addition of these two is again this okay so we uh, reuse the definition of that uh, reversely use the definition of addition in r3 so we have this and this is t of x1 y1 by using definition what is t of x y is x plus y x uh, x minus y 2x what is t of x1 y1 is x1 plus y1 comma x1 minus y1 comma 2x1 so this is the t x1 y1 and this is t x2 y2 okay so this is t v1 uh, this is t v2 and therefore what we have t v1 plus v2 is equal to t v1 plus t v2 for all v1 and v2 belongs to r or we can uh, denote this equation as equation number one and then this is the find t of v1 plus v2 as this equation number one and then consider t v1 plus t v2 separately what is t v1 plus t v2 t v1 is x1 y1 v2 is this then write uh, t of v1 uh, x1 y1 as this t of x2 y2 as this and then add these two we have this and then after adjustment we have this so uh, we show lhs and rhs are set in uh, another method and the second property we take v bar as x y belongs to r square and k b in scale that is we take the element of uh, this uh, r square any element of r square and k as any scalar so suppose v as x y or take v1 as x1 y1 belongs to r square v as a x y order pair x y belongs to r square and k b in scalar and then what is k v bar is k x y is is k x comma k y this is by using the definition of scalar multiplication in r square and then what is t of k v is t of k x comma k y what is k v k v is this k x k y and then this is equal to by using the definition of t it is k x plus k y comma k x minus k y uh, comma 2 of k x and if you take k as common uh, from all this we have k in bracket x plus y x minus y 2 x and this is t of x y this x plus y comma x minus y 2 x is t of x y and uh, and that is x y is v bar so k t v bar for all v belongs to r square and for any scalar k and that is what we have t k v bar is equal to k t v bar for all v bar belongs to r square and for any scalar k because v bar is any any vector of r square and it is true for any vector so it is true for all vector of r square and hence t is a linear transformation so in order to show the uh, function is linear transformation we have to show the two conditions so similarly we will solve this uh, these two uh, examples t x y z is x plus y comma x y z and this is t from r3 to r3 t x y z so the uh, element of r3 as the three tuple x y z is equal to x plus y comma x plus z comma x minus y and again this is this remaining two are also linear transformation in the same way we will show that the, the remaining are two are the linear transformations so determine whether the following examples determine whether the t x y is equal to x comma x plus y comma x plus 3 is it linear transformation is linear transformation so the answer of the first is not linear transformation because of this x plus 3 and if the uh, when the function is not linear transformation 
if uh, out of these two condition one condition at least one condition fails for that function that is a uh, uh, t of v1 plus v2 is not equal to t v1 plus t v2 or we have to show t of kv is not equal to k of tv okay so one of them condition fails that is we will prove the condition in uh, the condition uh, out of the two condition fails by using counter example or by using general example so Uh, see this answer of the first problem we will give the answer in two in two ways so let take v1 um, as x1 y1 v2 as x2 y2 belongs to r square we take two element from r square uh, we any vector then v1 plus v2 is x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 and then t of v1 plus v2 is what t of x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 by using definition so what is the definition t of xy is x comma x plus y So t of x1 plus x2 is x1 plus x2 comma x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2 that is x plus y comma x plus 3 means x1 plus x2 plus 3. So this is by using the definition, and this we can write this as x1 uh, uh, comma x1 plus y1 comma x1 plus 3 comma plus x2 uh, comma x2 plus y2 comma x2 plus 3 we cannot write like this we cannot write this as like this so and this is not t of x1 y1 and t of x2 y2 or we denote this is as equation number 1 this is equation number 1 and then find separately t of v1 plus t of v2 so what is t of v1 t of v1 is a uh, t of v1 is t of x1 y1 T of v2 is T of x2 y2, and what is T of x1 y1 is x1 comma x1 plus y1 comma x1 plus 3 by using definition of this. And what is T of v2? That is T of x2 y2 is x2 comma x2 plus y2 comma x2 plus 3. And what is the addition of these two? Is x1 plus x2, x1 plus y1 plus x2 plus y2, comma x1 plus x2 plus 6. That is, it is not plus 3. So, what is the addition of these two? Is x1 plus x2, x1 plus x2, x1 plus y1 plus x2 plus y2, comma x1 plus x2 plus 6, and that is equation two. And then we say that t of v1 plus v2 is not equal to t of v1 plus t of v2, and therefore is not linear transformation. The t is not linear transformation. Or we can prove this property. Uh, that this property this uh, is not satisfied for this t by using counter example that is take two particular elements of this r2 this r2 that is uh, suppose 2 3 v1 bar as 2 3 and v2 bar as 8 1 belongs to r square b any vector then what is v1 plus v2 is 10 comma 4 okay addition and then what is t of v1 v2 is t of 10 4 and is 10 and then 10 plus 4 that is 14 and And then a uh, uh, 10 plus 3, 30 by using this definition x comma x plus y comma x plus 3. So we have this. And then what is t of v1 plus t of v2? T of 2, 3 v1 is 2, 3 and t of 8, 1 and it is what 2, uh, 2 then 2 plus 3, 5 and 2 plus 3 is 5 by using the definition. And then 8, 8 plus 1, 9 and 8 plus 3 is 11. And what is the addition of these two is? 10 plus uh, 14 plus 16, uh, not uh, 10 plus, uh, not plus 10 comma 14 comma 16. And what is uh, this is not equal to 10 14 13. It is 10 14 16. 14, so t of v1 plus v2 is not equal to t of v1 plus t of v2. What is the we have to write? T of v1 plus v2 is not equal to write t of v1 here. Write t of v1 plus t of v2. And therefore, t is not linear transformation. So we can uh, prove that the condition one fails for this example number one in two ways: either either by using this way or by using uh, giving the counter example. But I think the counter example method is a powerful method, easy method. So similarly, the five number example number five is again not linear transformation. so the we will show that the second property uh, fails for this uh, five so how can so the second property fails by using counter example so like v bar as 2 3 4 
So here the T is from R3 to R3. So we have to take the two, one element from R3. Suppose uh, V bar as 2, 3. What is the element? 2, 3, 4 is the element of V, R3. And take K as a 2, scalar 2. And then what is K V bar is uh, uh, 2 into 2, 2 into 3 and 2 into 4 is this 4, 6, 8. And what is T of K V bar is T of 4, 6, 8. And T of uh, 4, 6, 8 is 1, 1, 1. So they, this is the image P of X, Y, Z. Whatever may be X, Y, Z. P of X, Y, Z is 1, 1, 1. That is constant function. So T of, uh, uh, T of this uh, uh, 4, 6, 8 is 1, 1, 1. And K, T, V bar is 2. K is 2. T, V bar is 2, 3, 4. And what is T of 2, 3, 4 is again 1, 1, 1. Because T of X, Y, Z is 1, 1, 1 for all X, Y, Z. And so, and after multiplying by 2, we have 2, 2, 2. And therefore, what is your observation? That T, K, V bar is not equal to K, T, V bar. Because K, T, V bar is 2, 2, 2, 2. And uh, uh, T, K, V bar is 1, 1, 1. And therefore, these two are not equal. And therefore, T is not linear transformation. So in some examples, the condition 2 uh, fails. In some example, condition number 1 fails. In some example, both conditions fail. So we have to write only one uh, condition fails. That is the counter example for it one out of the two condition one condition out of the two conditions so similar examples uh, uh, t from r3 to r square as x y z is equal to x comma y z is again not linear transformation these are all the other uh, this t x y z as x square z y x square is the problem here y z is the problem so if you take uh, x in uh, the two element from r3 uh, suppose the first element is two three four and the another element take as a minus 3, 4, 5. So it take in x as positive and x as negative. And then we will find that and then we will show that t x uh, v1 plus v2 is not equal to t of v1 plus t of v2. Okay. So take x uh, uh, as positive and x as negative. So take two elements from R3 such that for example v1 as minus 2, 3, 4 and v2 as uh, uh, 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 9, or any, we will take, okay, in one example, we will take x coordinate uh, uh, as positive and x coordinate as negative in another vector. So take two vectors and then we will see that t of v1 plus v2 is not equal to t of v1 plus t of v2. Similarly, this is uh, not linear transformation. Uh, we will take uh, the two element uh, x, uh, x, y as some x, uh, x and y are so in, uh, in one one example, v1 take v1 as 2, 3. And in another example, we take uh, minus 2, minus 3. That is, uh, we will take uh, a, v1 as 2, minus 3. And v2 as minus 4, 3. That is, one of them is negative. And then we will see that the first property fails. Similarly, the second property fails for this. Uh, that is, if you take k as negative number, then we have t of x, y, t of k, uh, t of k, v bar is not equal to k t v bar so write the counter examples for the fail property so similarly this is the example let v bar v be a vector space of continuous functions on close interval 0 1 define a map t from v to r so v is the uh, vector space of functions continuous functions on close interval 0 1 real real functions and the definition is t of f is integration 0 to 1 fx dx then show that t is a linear transformation. So we are, we have to show first t of f plus g is equal to t of f plus t of g because now the notation for the uh, fun, uh, fun, uh, elements of this domain v are f small f small g small f. So take uh, two elements from this v and then what is t f plus g is integration zero to one. This is t f. So what is t of f plus g? Right, just f by f plus g. Uh, replace f by f plus g. So integration 0 to 1 f plus g x dx and by using the definition of addition of two function f plus g x is fx plus g x and by using the property of integration we know that integration distribute over addition straight forward. So integration of u plus v is integration of u plus integration of v. So integration of uh, fx plus g x dx is integration of fx plus integration of g x and this is t of f and this is t of g. So what we have t of f plus g is 
it is equal to pf plus tg for all f and g belongs to b now f is the element of v and k b in scalar then what is t of kf so this is t of f so just where to write t of kf so replace f by kf so kf x dx and is by using the definition of function it is k of f x and k is constant so by using the rule of integration we will take this k uh, outside the uh, integration so we have k integration 0 to 1 fx dx and this is tf and so what is what we have k is equal to k tf and therefore k uh, tkf is k tf for all f belongs to b and for any scalar k and therefore t is a linear transformation so these are some examples of linear transformation now we will see some more examples of linear transformation in the next lecture.